The Tree of Hope program in Baldwin County is making sure no child in need goes without a Christmas. A lot of you have answered the call since we first talked about this. You've been super generous and fulfilled the wishes of about 50 children in just three days. Our Russell Colburn continues his coverage from Foley. It took only one weekend for this to turn into this. Hundreds of gifts going to children in need as part of the Tree of Hope program. These piles of presents, all thanks to many of you. We are wrapping a gift for a little boy who is receiving a dump truck. Organizer Heather Green spent much of the morning wrapping the presents for their Christmas Eve delivery. After she picked them up from Applebee's of Foley, where the tree stands. Time to go wrap them? Time to go wrap. And some of the presents have already been delivered. Yesterday I did deliver a gift to a special mom and she cried and she was just overjoyed that her son was going to be able to have something to open on Christmas Day. It's just amazing and it's heartfelt knowing that we are able to help these parents let their children have a good Christmas this year. All in all, Green and her little elves like Jonathan Colburn here wrapped about 500 gifts. Isn't that right, Jonathan? Right. They go to 200 children participating in the Tree of Hope program. Most of them come from low-income families or are special needs. Sponsors chose stockings like these. One side the child's name and age, the other their Christmas wish list. I would hate for them to see nothing under their Christmas tree. And now, they won't. In our first interview, you told me that you know what it's like to look under a Christmas tree and have nothing be there. Yes. Do you feel like you prevented that for hundreds of children? Yes, I do. Um, it, it's crazy how the community has came together and actually helped us do this. And just knowing that a child would have at least one gift, you know, a big gift or a small gift, it doesn't matter. Just the joy of them knowing that they have something under that tree with their name on it, just it means a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to their parents as well. Though they call themselves elves, the parents might be more inclined to call them angels. Either way, they're here to stay to make sure every area child has a Merry Christmas. For Fox 10 News, I'm Russell Colburn. Such a great effort, and you know, you still have about an hour or so to sponsor a child. If you're able to, just stop by the Applebee's and Foley. Green is going to be picking up those presents at around 5.30. And if you can't do it this time, it's okay. Green says that they're already planning for next year's Tree of Hope.